Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Steph K and I'm all about lifestyle, beauty, and luxury, okay? All we know over here is a soft life, okay? So in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing my Neverfull bag from Louis Vuitton. Um, yes, yeah, so before jumping in the video, please, please, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. When you subscribe, it lets me know that I'm doing the right thing and you want to see more of me, okay? Share it, comment it, let me know what you think of the video. So without further ado, let's jump in the video. So as mentioned earlier, I'm going to be reviewing my Neverfull bag. Okay. So, I know what a lot of people say about this bag, that it's so basic, that everybody got it, and da 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 But look, there's a reason why it's one of Louis Vuitton's bestseller. Honestly, it's an amazing bag. Okay? So let's just start by me showing you guys which color I chose it in. Um, so I took it in the canvas one. And I took it in the color cherry. Um, I originally wanted it in pink, but then I had to think of long term. You know, like putting your stuff in and out, in and out, in and out is gonna get dirty, and then you're gonna have to be super careful. And just in long term for me, it wasn't the smartest choice to get. Like. Um, to get the never full in pink interior. Maybe if I get a second one, then I would get the pink one, but like for on a daily basis, honestly, I really think that um, the red one was better. So, I have it in a size, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I have it in size MM because I'm a petite girl, so I'm not gonna be with the big bag. I'm like five foot four, so, you know. Already, I feel like this bag is big for me, but I don't care. I'm still, I'm, I still got it. <laughs> so, honestly, it's a good everyday bag. It's good for work. It's good for school if you want, but honestly, I would never bring that back to school. Um, but for work, when I go to work, I can put my laptop. I could put all my little stuff. Just even for on a daily basis, like it's a good tote bag, you know? um what i did also because there's no actual structure on the back and you can see because i put my little case here kind of took the shape of it which is good um but i actually i buff this little case here so i can organize my bag better because the never full has no um like organizer it's just like an empty bag and you just throw everything in and i'm someone that's really organized and it really bothers me okay um so i really went with that case actually i bought it on amazon i'm gonna link it down below and you guys could see the organizer it's a saver like for me i'm like i like when everything is organized and when it's not i freak out um so the next thing that comes with the bag as you guys could see is a little pouch and honestly i like it like you could put anything in there um from what i remember i think it's removable so you can actually use it as a separate bag let's say you want to put it as a pouch when you're going out you could use it or you could just put little stuff like i don't know what yet i didn't put nothing in there but you can use it as a pouch so it becomes like a two-in-one bag um as i said before honestly like it's just like a really open bag there's no zipper uh now in terms of the aftermath do i have any regret concerns after buying the bag a few years later so um honestly i'm so happy that i took the neverfull in this um color and in danie ben and i'll explain to you why um so the it also comes in monogram and then there's another color it's like white ish and honestly i don't want to go there let's just focus on uh, the brown color so it comes in monogram like i said or in danny ben like the one that i have honestly for me and the never full it's more worth it to get the danny ben and here's why the monogram bag and i'll put a picture up there is beige all around here in contour is beige um 
the hands the handles sorry are beige as well and in long term because it's beige and you're wearing it underarm and you know you're you put creams in your hand and you wash your hand you know like you're touching a bunch of stuff and then you're touching your your handles and the rest of your bag it becomes brown and it, it's not like a nice brown I, I i think you guys know what i'm talking about we see a lot of girls i see sorry a lot of girls with the never fold the monochrome one and it's just after years it just becomes like you know it's like it's not cute anymore and honestly don't come for me it's my personal opinion i don't find it cute but versus other people like my mother or aunts or friends that have this bag and they've had it for like years and the bag i feel like with time it even becomes better like me my bag is still brand new because i haven't been wearing it as much as i should when you know the pandemic i literally bought it like the year of the pandemic like and then after you know i couldn't wear it so it's been in my bag in the bags in the box also in the cover for a long time so i'm getting it out now but i just feel like the neverfull especially in danny ben with the more it ages the better it becomes you know and it's it's just nicer and i just consider my bag to still be brand new because it looks like i haven't worn it but i really do feel like it's good for that um the other thing is honestly I just feel it, I feel like it's more appealing in a Danie Ben compared to the monogram one. I don't know, it's just to me, it's not like, I don't know, I'm not really attracted to it if you want, or I'm not like, oh wow. I don't know, like no matter how much Neverfull I see, when people wear the Danie Ben one, and like the Danie Ben either with pink or red, like I just feel like it's always like, I always stop to look, you know, I'm like, oh, it's nice, like I like the bag. So another thing that I like about this bag is you can actually make it smaller. So I already did the first side here. here. Perfect. And then it becomes more like this shape. Let's say if you want to, you know, the sides to be more in. Honestly, quite frankly, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, I don't know the shape of it. It's so awkward for me, but I guess it's another option like if you want to transform it and you know turn it into another type of bag it kind of looks like a hobo bag like they have one bag and it's like with one it's like a shoulder bag i will put a picture of it on top and it's kind of giving that vibe it's really good like you know it's versatile so if you want to change uh the shape of your bag that's another option okay so now let's get to business in terms of uh, investment, honestly, to me, the Neverfull is a good investment. When I bought my bag, it was, if I'm not wrong, uh, right before the price increase. So, yeah, so now my bag is worth way much more. And honestly, in a span of three years to make that amount of money, I'm really happy about it. So I would definitely recommend investing in bags, not all of them, but this one, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I think it's a great explanation to give to your loved ones when they want to get mad at you. You're like, listen, this is an investment. You know, long term I'm gaining. It's like if I you invest in real estate, but I invest in bags, you know? <laughs> um, no, but seriously, honestly, it's a good uh, deal for me. Uh, two years in, three years in, you know, like I'm not regretting. I think it's a good purchase. And if you're looking for a tote bag, everyday tote bag, a tote bag that you can actually dress up and dress down, go for it. Again, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.